Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Comsol Multiphysics for Beginners. This series is being recreated in 2023 with an aim to make you understand about every details of Comsol Multiphysics. So if you are a novice in this particular topic, then those information which we are going to provide you will help you and ultimately you will be able to develop your research problem which is the ultimate aim of yours so today we thought of talking something about the equations which we which, which we basically solve using Comsol multiphysics in our previous two videos we talked about 1d unsteady heat conduction equation and also talked about 2d heat transfer equation with boundary conditions other than Dirichlet or constant boundary conditions now i thought of explaining something about the equation because if we do not understand the equation appropriately then we will not be sure about the phenomenon which we are modeling so understanding the equation each and every term and how exactly you can tune those terms that is important in console so nowadays uh, in their updated version if you see uh, for for the learning purpose, I have taken an example from their application library. You can take any example. So this particular example has transport of diluted species. It also has heat transfer in solids. As we started with heat transfer, I thought of taking this particular one. So first of all, this is a multi-physics problem. So the, as the word suggests, multi-physics means it has more than one physics. So herein, it has heat transfer in solids the first one or you can say the second one so one is heat transfer in solids and the other is transport of diluted species so whenever you go to that particular physics and uh, place your cursor there and then in the setting window you can see the equation now Comsol has created a flexibility in terms of the equation you are solving so this is basically uh, species transport equation means uh, diffusion, convection, reaction equation. So this particular term actually symbolizes the diffusion and the uh, right hand side term, it actually indicates the reaction term. But in some of the systems, you may not have the reaction. So you should not go ahead with the reaction option. On the other hand, in some of the cases, you might have convection, which is playing a role in the problem so what it has is you can see there are options if you just check this convection option you can see you can add the convection option so you can basically modify your equation based on your requirement if I need this convection if it is defining my physical case then I will keep it if not I can just opt out for it you can see it is uh, it is vanishing when we, I am unchecking it. Similarly, migration in electric field. So this term is important. If you have an electric field and ion transport is taking place uh, uh, in the electric field medium. So this particular topic becomes important when you solve for electrokinetic phenomena. And you know, in research problem, electrokinetics, electrokinetic phenomena, those are very frequent. So you have to be very careful by uh, I mean uh, when you are choosing your equation so I'm just trying to justify the flexibility of equations in terms of transport of diluted species suppose you have another term mass transfer in porous media we know in most of the cases we basically deal with mass transfer and mass transfer may take place through the uh, beads packed column and everything so in those packed columns beads they have porosity and you have to take care of that porosity so uh, in that case you need to check this option similarly if we go to the heat transfer option you can see you have a particular equation in this case you don't have the flexibility yeah they have one option that isothermal domain that so if you just click the isothermal domain you can see another option that is the isothermal domain interface is getting opened and if you go here you can see what is that isothermal domain so based on the physics you are taking they will have either have flexibility or 
they do not have flexibility like in this case they have all the equations like you uh, this is the convective heat transfer but you have the option to seize this convective heat transfer because if there is not any convection taking place ultimately this term would be zero even though if it is appearing in the equation if i put this u is equal to zero this term vanishes so thereby you can modify your equation suppose i am not working with this unsteady term my problem is a steady state so from here you can opt for this time dependent uh, uh, unsteady options uh, like here it was study control that's why you can't uh, change it study control means i have taken a study which is uh, time dependent so the equation is study control that means it would automatically be time dependent but i can actually change over from this drop down option if i click on stationary then you can see it becomes stationary and in the stationary you don't have the time dependent term so thereby you have to play around with the equation you have to understand the equation and then you have to choose the appropriate options you have to choose the appropriate drop down menu now i will show you one more thing uh, suppose uh, this particular equation uh, is being solved i switch on convection now i go to transport properties when i go to transport properties it also shows another equation almost the equations are same both are same equation you see here it is the equation and also in the transport properties you have same equation now you can ask me why the same equations are being i mean coming twice it's becoming a recurring process actually the thing is this transport properties only take care of the left hand side you can see there is a dotted line at the bottom of the equation so this indicates when you are looking into transport properties you are basically dealing with this left hand side terms now i'll explain it uh, in more detailed manner suppose i want to switch on the reaction option so i right click here i choose the reaction node they call it node i click here so the reaction node is now taken suppose i will take this in the solution space now you can see uh, it has a dot line at the bottom of this reaction term so it indicates this reaction is basically contributing this term in the entire equation so this is the entire equation so this node contributing to this r so thereby i mean in comsol they have different syntaxes they have different symbols if you understand all the symbols properly then it makes your problem your case very easier so today i was I, I was i had a plan to talk about the equations i guess i could able to transfer some message from this particular video will come up with more such videos which are very fundamental in this particular playlist so uh, keep watching this playlist it will be helpful for you thank you